Hi, well, good morning, everybody. I'm Jennifer. This is A Country Life, and I'm starting out the day in my kitchen. This is going to be a day in the life for those of you who enjoy those types of videos. It is going to be hot. They are calling for heat, a heat index of about 100 today. It's going to be hot and sticky, and I love it. <laughs> Yesterday I filmed, and hopefully you already saw that video, um, it was like a bunch of food. It started out where it was going to be a week of meals and then the week just completely got away from me and we ended up, I feel like I've said this so many times, but it was my birthday and then our oldest son had us over the next day. So we had ordered food for my birthday. He had us over the next day for a cookout and I just forgot to show, I guess, I still could have shown a week of meals, but it wasn't really meals that I was making. So anyway, um, yesterday I made something I had some leftover rhubarb when I had thawed it to make a rhubarb and apple cake. Happy birthday, Jumper. Yes, thanks. And Joe is still wishing me happy birthday. Okay, so what I did yesterday with that little bit of leftover rhubarb, I found a recipe on Pinterest, and it was to make like a rhubarb, I think they called it something like a rhubarb, I don't remember what they called it. I'm going to flip the light on here. That might be better. Um, but it's basically like a rhubarb yeast bread with kind of a braided type of a thing. And I was looking for something that was like a rhubarb bread that I could roll up and then slice and toast. And it would be like a rhubarb swirl bread. But this looked good. So I started it yesterday. And I never got to finish it in that video because it did not rise. So I did put it into this pitcher. I put saran over it and I put it in the fridge and it rose. It was actually only about like this far yesterday and it actually finally rose. So hours and hours and hours later, um, I did get the yeast is still working. So I'm gonna roll this out just the way the instructions say, a 10 by 11 inch uh, rectangle. And then we're gonna get it cut into three, way, three pieces, top it with the rhubarb sauce that I made yesterday, top it with some almonds and get that braided up. I actually prefer to roll out my bread on a little bit of oil. I just think, yeah. feel like it, um, I don't know. Sometimes if you add extra flour, it tends to get a little bit drier. All right, I feel like this definitely could have been rolled into a much bigger piece if, since they want me to roll each of these little pieces. There's not really much give <laughs> for rolling these. Let's see if we can, maybe we're just gonna have to get messy. What do you think, Maria? Do we have to just get messy? Yep. Oh boy, this is really messy. Hmm. 
It's almost like you kind of have to stretch it. All right, well, if this is good in the end and we end up making this again, what we're gonna have to do is roll this much bigger so that you have a bigger piece to work with here because this isn't working really at all. That one worked. That one worked really well, yeah. This one, sort of. This one, no. All right, we are heading off to our summer library program. I'm just gonna cover this, set it on top of the stove, and I'm gonna let this rise until we get back. It's gonna rise for a long time. I know it's not gonna over rise because I just know it's been very, very slow to rise so far, and I'm just banking that it's gonna take a long time. Again, we're gonna quick close up. Let's close up, I think there's two windows open in the house. Guys, so let's close up this, oh no, three. My window, the bathroom window, and the kitchen window, and we're going to turn on the air conditioning, okay? So we're going to turn the air conditioning on just so it's it, a little bit cool I today. Well, I almost became the old woman who swallowed the fly. Do you see that fly in there? <laughs> I put my coffee up. I was like, oh, no. I'm trying to see if I can find it again. It's a pretty good-sized fly down in there. Heading into the post office right now. I have four cookbooks to ship off today. Basically, my cookbooks are out of stock as of today i have another order put in it just hasn't been shipped yet um, i'm expecting that to get here july 1st so you have a couple options if you are interested in buying my cookbook this would be volume one still and um, you can always order it right now i continually print off the shipping labels and just keep them in my folder and then when i get the cookbooks semi <laughs> and when I get the cookbooks then I will ship those out to you or you can just wait and place an order later if you get my newsletter that's where I'll post immediately when I have the next shipment of cookbooks in and when they're ready to ship so either way is fine um, I will put the link in the description box below in case you want to order it now and then it'll just ship out to you when as soon as I get them And Gabe, you guys see her cards? Yeah. Okay, remember magic's about using your imagination. Yeah. Let me ask again, do you see Maria's cards? Yeah. Yes, very good. Maria, take your cards, place them inside this bag, just like that. Yeah. Wait, what? How did you do that, Maria? She got us a deck of cards. Give her a big round of applause so far. <laughs> now, boys and girls, let's take a look at our next book here, because we're almost out of uh, books here, which means we're getting closer and closer to the end of the show. Ooh. All the way down. You can see those teeth went right through your wrist. Now, wait, 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 wait. Hold your hand up. Make sure his hand is still connected to his wrist. Did you get that, Mom? It sure is. Let's give him a big, brave round of applause. So we have been home for quite a while. It's actually at 2.30 right now. This rhubarb almond bread, or almond braid, has been rising for a long time. I just have a little egg wash here. And as soon as I get the egg wash on, I'm going to sprinkle on a few more almonds. We're going to put this into the oven at 320 degrees, which seemed like kind of a funny temperature. But anyway, I'm just following the directions the best I can. And it's supposed to go for about 45 minutes. It does say that you could cover it loosely with foil towards the end if it were to be getting too dark. So while I wait for my oven to preheat I thought I would just do a couple loads or actually a couple beds worth of laundry so I have two beds here of sheets to do mattress pads that kind of thing we're gonna get that in and oh come on just stay in there and this idea of putting pine saw into laundry seems to be a resurfacing 
um, idea right now. I've done it for a long time. Um, right now, I am currently still out of my laundry booster because it seems like, um, I don't know, Borax is just always out of stock when I go to order it from Walmart. So, uh, yeah, a lot of times I'll just use some Pine Sol right in the wash and then I'm going to use a little bit of Tide up here, but I can't do that with one hand. I'll put a little bit of Tide in here. I'll put it to hot. Turn this on. I'm going to put it to hot water an extra rinse and heavy soil because I really like the bedding to get super super clean and with allergies and everything too it just helps to really really get an extra rinse to get all those allergens out of the sheets. So I'm going to head out and water a couple more flowers. I actually just did all my fertilizing uh, with my tiger bloom and then with the homemade fertilizer that I've been making. So I always make one jug and I have like two plants out front that I use that on and they seem to be doing great. Um, with that being said, Tiger Bloom is actually, I just went on today to link it uh, for one of the other video description boxes and they have dropped it by 34%. It was just like $85 or something like that. And I wanna say today it was like 56. So I did add a gallon to my cart and I think I'm gonna place that order. I had decided I wasn't gonna buy any more Tiger Bloom, especially at 82 or $85 a gallon. I was like, there's just no way. but. For 50 something, I will because that's what I pay almost every year. So anyway, I just have to water these two plants right there. And here's my other one. I love this uh, pink petunia. I absolutely love how that pink petunia is doing. I have to get it some more water right now and um, because it's hot. It is hot, hot, hot. I was out before and I was talking on the phone with Nick while I was <laughs> fertilizing and I was just getting hotter and hotter and hotter. So I went in, said to the kids, we need to go swimming. So they're actually finishing up doing some laundry and watching a TV show or a movie. And then after that, we're gonna go swimming. Well, we are heading down to go swimming now. And although I'm not gonna model this whole suit for you, <laughs> that's not what my channel is all about. Um, I do want to point out that I love this swimsuit. I bought one in a different color, um, but then, and I use that as just my hot tub swimsuit because the hot tub. The water is super nice. Can I carry it? Sure, thank you. And that was just, became the hot tub one because, yeah. whoa! We just had a little oops with the tube. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, yeah, I got this in a different color, and then the hot tub really like the chlorine and everything really took the color out. So I have to say it's not super color fast, at least not in our hot tub, it wasn't. Um, but then I bought a second one as my like to wear out and about suit when I'm not just in the basement in the hot tub. So anyway, I love this. I will link this suit at Amazon because I don't think it was that expensive, at least for a swimsuit. You know how that is. It's like the smallest piece of clothing costs the most amount of money. Um, so anyway, yeah, it was, I, I do really, really like this. It's very windy today and everything is just blowing, blowing, blowing. I'm gonna. Yeah. Oh my gosh, every time you go out and get wet, the biting flies, they are bad today. So, anyway, I just wanted to point out, you did catch a lizard? I don't think you did. Mm -hmm. I don't think you did. <laughs> That's a fake one. All right, so, so I just wanted to point out when I was mentioning about the suit before, the thing, because I, I didn't say what makes it such a great suit. What makes it such a great suit is that it doesn't pull like up on the behind area or anything. It just like stays put and um, yeah. So, I mean, if you're into the cheeky look, this isn't gonna be your suit, but um, 
it's just a nice it's a nice suit I like that it stays up high here it doesn't doesn't droop down just super comfortable it's got kind of some ruching around the stomach so it's kind of uh, forgiving in that area too so just all around it's a great suit and we were just floating and floating and floating and Joe actually found the sandbar of course I can't get um, I don't have my camera when that's happening but he found a sandbar out there so that was fun so we all swam out to the sandbar and um, Peter is strong enough he was able to pull Maria and me back to shore Maria said it was like that we were like the chariot <laughs> he was pulling the chariot <laughs> so I let this rise for quite a while and then you know this is the rhubarb braid that I made and it baked for a long long time like 50 I think a full hour it baked for. I did put some foil over in like the last 10 or 15 minutes just to make sure that it didn't get too dark because it did get pretty dark and Warren actually requested that I put a glaze over top of this so that's what I'll do. It's probably pretty sweet already with the rhubarb um, like sauce in there but I don't know everything is always better with a little bit of that white glazy frosting so I'm going to make a little drizzle of glaze to put on this and yeah, I think this is going to be a really, really yummy um, breakfast bread. And if you were here for yesterday's video, then you saw that Peter put together out of his um, cookbook from the library the hamburgers, yep. onions and garlic and Worcestershire sauce and all kinds of good things. So he's just making up the patties. Warren is going to grill. It's 102, I think, or something like that out. Also, we could probably grill. <laughs> it's so hot out we could grill the burgers on the patio floor <laughs> probably it's pretty hot isn't it well the burgers are done oh, yeah is this too nice? here's the finish nope, that's fine here's the finished thing we got burger Ooh. cheese uh, onion Ooh. lettuce and ketchup it looks beautiful mm -hmm. i cannot wait to taste them yeah